First two and two on 1.3, 2.6, right? For us. Seems like we did change from best of five to best of three. But we didn't change the map pool. Turtle Rock's still in. And also, Infi and Fly still in. This match might come as a surprise, but it shouldn't be a surprise to you that Infi and Fly won the past three. Two and two tournaments here at WAL. They are undefeated. And as this is a single elimination tournament, if you are smart, this also tells you that they didn't even drop a single series. Hawk and Armor qualified again last month. After I saw them in the qualifiers, I thought, oh boy, this looks rough. They're gonna get wrecked. They held their ground quite well, but they weren't on the same level as their opponent. Thank you, Andra Weezy, for the five euros. That's so lovely, mate. Thank you. As we have good old Turtle Rock. In this best of three. This also means we get less weird maps, I think. For example, chances for a synergy might be reduced now. Which is a bit sad, I gotta say. We still go human and orc on both sides. We've seen a lot of human and orc. Today. Colorful, the only non human orc player. No, Labby as well. Okay, we've seen all races. Never mind. I'm just rambling. I'm an old man. So, Hawk and Armor. Good luck, boys. At the bottom right hand side. Facing the best 2 and 2 team in the world. Fly, though, coming from a long series. Versus Sock. Might be a bit tired. Hopefully that won't deter him. We do have a combined push by NP and Fly. Which at this point of the game, I didn't necessarily expect also towards the human base. Do we know if there's any developments on this patch in 2 and 2 just yet? Or is this the proving ground? As this is the first game from the tournament. Fly getting level 2. Armor got that as well. And so far this looks rather competitive, I gotta say. But Infi is going for defend. And defend is going to be really, really, really good. Blocks damage. Deflects damage. Reduces damage. And of course on Turtle Rock, nobody's expanding. That'd be advantageous. No, adventurous. <laughs> kind of similar. So they disrupted Hawk's creeping. And Fly is going tier 3. Alright, we bank on Headhunters. Armor and Hawk seem to have a bit of a different idea. Oh no, just a bit delayed. But in these early skirmishes, do they stand a chance against Infi and Fly? On paper, Hawk and Armor should be worse. But maybe the power of friendship can help them out.
pocket armor also inspired. By the way, Infi and Fly play. Infi and Fly established this sort of 2 and 2 for Human Orc. With the Blood Mage, with the timings, etc, etc. And then you gotta hope that you can play it almost as good. It's almost a carbon copy at this point. Sweet little Chain Lightning by Arma. 2.8 already. Archmage by Infi. Was ahead though, up until now. Storm. So I don't want to come in. Hmm. <laughs> We got Shadow Hunter versus Tease. That's also why the tier 3 is a bit delayed. Infi and Fly pretty much got shop control the entire game, right? That's a plus. They're holding their ground for quite some time in these fights. Like if you if you put these names on paper, you'd think that it's an easy smash for Fly and Infi, but eight minute game, I guess from these eight minutes we brawl for four. And it's still neck and neck. Like Hawk and Arm might even have a supply lead now. But they also have a heal scroll and they also have a big mana potion. That will be a huge help. Infi calls Militia, Boss here a bit for full, but instantly healed. And Blizzard by Infi from the left hand side a little off screen. And Hawk didn't make that transition yet. So a massive amount of AoE damage raining down on Hawk and Armor. What's the way back? And what's the way out? Infi lost a lot. But he can replace everything with breakers now, can feed fly a bit. Hawk also with the big potion as they are going flame strike. Yeah, Hawk seemed to be quite a fan of the new flame strike. Double AoE. Dipset, thank you for the 21 month. So 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 appreciated. Head to the red spot. <laughs> Hex on the TC. So the TC didn't get experience. Prevents him from level 3. What a sick move by Fly that was. He's still preventing level 3. He still is. Double suck. The TC is transferring mana straight to the Blood Mage. TC by Fly in trouble though. He has a tendency to lose the hero's banish to the rescue. No punishment in terms of chain lightning or anything. Oh my god, what a brawl. What a mad brawl. Infi really has nothing, man. He's also empty on the Archmage. A hawk and armor doing it. It's certainly looks like it. Are we saving any items? No, not really. Oh, the TC dies. 
Oh no, the one thing that wasn't allowed to happen. Holy moly. PC dies on the other side too. Less meaningful if that's only a level one hero. And Arma and Hawk are fighting them back. Unbelievable brawl between the guys. Speed scroll. And they're getting away. Whoa, everybody needs a little breather here. Into the sides. Your breath's gonna be a bit colder than ours. Throws a blizzard. Flame strike, not bad, I gotta say. Impact of banish, less noticeable. Is it all the experience of the three time champs coming through, swinging back? This time, Hawk and Arma got the shop control. Arma had a little bit of gold, got the heal scroll. Essential. How experienced is Arma in these long fights? It's getting exhausting. Almost exhausting to watch. Imagine playing this. Uh-oh. Blood Mage. Hawk in a bit of trouble here. Doesn't have end snare, but Hex dispelled. Can't lose the Blood Mage. But the big X decapitates him. Banish save on their own TC. That one sealed. Archmage hurt. And behind enemy lines. Did they do... Some damage on the... No. There's the TC going down finally. Not allowed to level much. I was about to say, during the hero focus time, did they kill a, a lot of units, but not necessarily the case. Breaker war, code is moving forward. Good control by fly. Blizzard hitting everything. And now... Now the favorites again establish... The assumed dominance with the absence of a blood mage. Basically, they gotta click on this altar. And that's their win. And oh, do they click on this altar. They're seriously, they're fighting for 10 minutes, aren't they? I mean, you never run out of mana, with that you never run out of healing, with that you never run out of units, and you, with that you're never running out of reasons to fight. Nice! I think this, this wave of attack is unstoppable at this point. Yo, thanks for the kind words, Quelva. Ooh, armor. Did he get a heal scroll? Just one. Is that enough? I don't know. Hard to get reinforcements from armor's base into this base as Fly is occupying the entrance. But Hawk has militia. Last ditch effort. Bit of a reposition. Let's wait out the militia duration. And once they, once they retreat, let's hit them with the AoE. Yep. This is not stoppable anymore. Concave, better. 
heroes better. But mad respect to Hawk and Armor for making this super close. One misstep by Fly or Infi, and they would have taken an advantage from this. Fly and Infi just never missed that. They never missed that! Well, Fly does, but Infi. There. Back him up. The two or three time champions have a wonderful start into the June race. And Blizzard in the hands of Infi, man. The human race in the hands of Infi. It's just beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Turtle Rock goes to the champs. Banish better than Flame Strike. Well, you can certainly cast a lot. And now Hawk and Armor facing elimination. There was a great mirror match, right? I felt like I got a little dizzy from all the fighting after 10 minutes, but yeah, Hawk Armor, man. Crazy improvement. Flame Strike loses value with lots of spellbreakers. I don't know, man. I. I see flame strike less of like pure damage, but also as damage mitigation. Because if you hit the spellbreakers, which is hard with, for example, a clap, um, flame strike can still hit berserkers, and then they got to move. And if they move, they can't hit. And then a flame strike is damage mitigation. See the logic? I don't. I don't know if I make sense anymore. Uh, so for that, Flame Strike can be quite nice, actually, to reach units that you usually can't reach. But I do see your point as well, that, get it, that it gets increasingly harder to reach those bots with more Spellbreakers. While Banish oftentimes holds value. They can also hit priests and then they attack themselves instead of attack units. True! Teko knows what's up. Archmage Farseer, Archmage Farseer. Will we get more of the same or is Twisted Meadows a little different? Oftentimes on Twisted you get one on one instead of one two on two. Is Banish the Spellable? Yes. Happy in 1 to 0. Waiting in their seats. Ready to be unleashed right after this series. Then at 6 pm, Western Qualifier. You know, here in Germany right now, they tried to compete with us, a couple of people. They invited some soccer teams from this region to compete against each other. But who watches that when you can't have this day of Warcraft? I don't know anyone. Can Hawk and Armor do it again? And make it as close as it was before. This map of course is a little different. It's a lot opener. You got mercs. Ama is clearly losing the one on one right now versus Infi. Also due to the early Shadow Priest. Ooh. Yo, Armor Packer. 
I'm always in trouble here, and I think it's a very smart call, or a little bit lucky with the spawning positions as well, that you got Fly vs. Hawk. Hawk in this matchup, really not that great. And Fly, I mean, we just saw him. With this one-on-one -on -one setup, I think Fly and Infi will have no mercy. But I thought the same about Turtle Rock. And I was wrong. They did hold their ground. But yeah, one side is losing units, the other side is not. That's pretty much precisely how I expected this to go. The fan timing is also a lot better, or faster. Remains to be seen if it's better or not. Ooh, Armor's base is wide open. During the tech, it's wide open. And now Infi. Water Elemental, piercing damage, onto Boros. Not even Spikes would be able to help here. And with that, I... Don't know if there's any... Any chance to save this game anymore. Crazy good first game. This looks like utter dominance. I mean, the, the starting positions were absolutely perfect for Fly and Infi. Got exactly the one on ones that they needed to get. Got great items too. Ooh, Hawk. Uh oh. Is out of the fight with his Archmage. Boy. Armor basically supply block. Got the TC out with a little bit of stomp. Ah, damn it, without an Archmage. There's just too many summons to deal with. Bases are broken. Fly and Infi. They are just. I mean, there's no shame to lose against Fly and Infi. They are just the best team in the world, and nobody can really compete with them. But first game was a sign that it is possible. If the stars align. Yeah, mad respect for that first game to Hawk and Armor, but these guys are just built differently. Maybe also a bit of exhaustion setting in after that long, 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 long fight on Turtle Rock. Can't blame them. Can't blame them. It's really nice they play, filling up the bracket, performing well. In my opinion, they also performed better last month already than many expected. And they definitely improved. Even though this game... This game, it looks dominant. The game before was very, very, very competitive. Ah, I see. Chain lightning here. More kills. Yeah. GG it is. Hawk also in chat. Yeah, mad, mad respect for game one. You played this really, really, really well. And game two is the fly and Infi show. Happens. Happens to the best. No shame in losing. But the improvement is clearly there. I hope you play next month as well getting quite fun to watch their games and with a different opponent
Just chance.